Good evening and welcome to Mum, McLoon and Maui. And uh, welcome to uh, another Monday night conference. Today we're up to seminar number 16. Date is June the 13th, 2006. Keep going. Yes. So you have this paragraph, the second paragraph. It says, in an electrically configured society, that means that the new electric speed of light movement of satellites and computers and television is the thing that's shaping you and me and the past environments. So an electrically configured society, in that society, all the critical information necessary to manufacture and distribute concerning automobiles to computers would be available to everyone at the same time. So that's actually the internet in a way. But that's not the way it was um, in the 60s. Technically, was information about automobile computers available to everybody? No, only if you were in the industry maybe. But then it, then yeah, it, it says... Was, uh, the, the satellite was mutating methods of production uh, and mutating methods of, uh, be, of, of spy capabilities and so on. But it's only today that I can actually get on Google Maps and have a, a satellite at my disposal showing me any, you know, 25 mile square radius of the planet Earth that I want to look at. Yeah, this is this this paragraph's an example of what McLuhan liked to quote from Wyndham Lewis. You know, the artist writes a detailed history of the future because only he or she knows the present, can see the present. So here's this paragraph that can refer to the next 50 years even go back a bit, but its, it's specificity is really hard to establish. Um, in electrically configured society, uh, this information would be available to everyone at the same time. It would be available to everyone in the industry, and he said that's what the telephone caused, you know, in World War One and World War Two. It, de- it upset the uh, rigid hierarchy of organization, so anybody could call the boss. Um, then you have um, uh, radio and, and more electric information allowing everybody to engage and if you're in the industry you have access to information easier because the telephone or whatever other means so there's the democracy uh, to a certain level in the particular industry but why would someone say espionage becomes an art form in the next sentence you know why just what's that got to do if, if it's available to everybody there's no need for espionage See, it's a contradiction right there well, a lot that's been obsolesced has become available to everyone, but there's all, all, always uh, levels of uh, classified information which is not available. Yeah, yeah. There's operations going on in, in that secret domain. That's right. So you have a ground, a targeted audience for the first sentence. It's, it's generally to people who live in North America or Western industry and experience access to them. Then the next sentence, you assume it's continuing in the same paragraph, but it's targeted to another ground. The ground of what you just said, industrial bureaucracies have to hide their information. Governments have to hide it because they're preserving private identity and ownership. All these goofer qualities. So, it's, when Marshall says that he wrote surrealistic canvases, I find it uh, not so surrealistic in reading him. It's easy to understand, uh, especially now. But if we look at this, this actually is a surrealistic uh, a canvas because he shifted the aim of the paragraph or that sentence to another level. It's including the previous level, but you see, it's a it's a collage. Suddenly, he's talking to another situation in the next sentence, but grammatically, that should not be in this paragraph. So, espionage becomes an art form. Uh, why would that be? That would be okay if avail- information is available to everybody. We better hide some of it. And calling that art is not what people think art is. They think art is freedom, expression, beauty, symmetry, pleasure. All kind. It's not something that involves Nazi Gestapo CIA teams, right? But when the new environment, this vast general patterns that McLuhan is um, dealing with, he's competing with the Henry Kissingers. He's saying my patterns are bigger than your general patterns, you elitist in the, in the ivory tower. And so he's exposing what they're doing by taking it further. 